So, interesting. Let's look in this video at how to use Affinity Publisher to open an Adobe InDesign template like this one, a Play Kids photo album, and create an Apple Motion flipbook. And that will produce something like you saw right at the start of this video. Now this is an Affinity Publisher desktop tutorial. It's not an Apple Motion tutorial. We're going to use one that's done by somebody else, which is very good. Now, there's a world of resources on Envato Elements. Everything you need to get creative projects done. And this is a bit of a plug for that. Shameless, shameless. You've seen this, of course, before, and you may have wondered how you can use some of the millions of resources made for the Adobe range of graphics programs, notably Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator. Well, the good news is that a particular Illustrator file, namely the IDML type, will open natively in Affinity Publisher. In this tutorial, I'll show you how that's done, and I'll sh also show you how you can put together a booklet in Affinity Publisher that can flip the pages by using a piece of software on the Apple called Apple Motion. So what we have is an IDML file from, from Adobe Illustrator, shame, shame, Affinity Publisher and Apple Motion. I'll be showing you how to open and prepare your file in Publisher. The Apple Motion tutorial I'll leave up to the very capable person who prepared it. The file set I'll be using, and you can follow along exactly if you like, by downloading the same package from Envato Elements. Unlimited stock videos, etc. Shameless plug. And as I'm an affiliate for that, if you download this, I may or may not make, I don't know, a dollar. <laughs> Get rich slow scheme. But there's the address. Now it'll also be in the description that is beneath this video. So you can copy it from there or copy it directly from the description. The document we will be using is Play Kids Photo Album. And there's its exact address. The, uh, the top address is in Vado Elements itself. But this here is the exact address of the one you want. If you already have your own IDML file or PDF file for that matter, please feel free to use that. Now, having downloaded the files I'm talking about, locate the files that you downloaded, in this case it's a zip file, and it opens that archive automatically in your downloads folder probably. Open the folder where your files reside and locate the Play Kids Photo Album.IDML file. That's the one you'll be working with. Now, open Affinity Publisher. Select File, Open, and navigate to your downloaded file in its directory, where you just found it. I would recommend that you keep all such archives in a particular location, so you can find them easily in future. Nothing worse than wandering around your hard drive looking for a file you know you downloaded but can't for the life of you remember where you put it. So, the pages. That's what it looks like when it's open. So now the document is loaded and you can clearly see how you can immediately use it. Obviously there's no images in there um, for various copyright reasons, but that's a blank template and that's really what you need. Now this document comes with a master A page and a total of 12 document pages, no images. Now this is just right for the flip page tutorial. The one that Jen Jager uses in her video, which I'll mention, show you where it is in a moment, is a six page one. Well, 12 pages is just six more than that, so it's still quite easy to do. The motion video tutorial uses only six pages, as I mentioned. However, that's ideal because it on, it's only twice the work. So let's fix up our document first, complete with images. We can locate anything in the existing pages that we need to change. Very simple. Go down through the layers. 
You'll notice that all layers in the default file default to IDML, which you can easily change. Unfortunately, Affinity Publisher does not yet have the facility to set a default for the layer names. So you'll have to do it one at a time if you want to change them. You can leave them there if you like, or you can take them out, or you can put something maybe like APUB for nothing at all. That's entirely up to you. It's window dressing. It doesn't affect the end result in any manner or form. Now this is most important. You can see I've got that in red at the top of the page. Before you proceed with this example, you must open the master page by selecting it and create a plain white rectangle, or blue if you like, or pink or green, but anyway, a plain white rectangle over the entire page. This acts as a background to the page. Motion, which we'll be using, will get confused over the transparency of pages if you don't do this. A lot of PDF pages, when they're saved, save with transparent backgrounds. Crazy, I know, but they do. And if you're flipping pages on a flip page book, you'll be able to see through the pages, and it will look very confusing. So apply this master to all pages. It really doesn't affect anything, it's just a plain white background, or a pink background, or a blue background. If you, if you actually make it a coloured background, you'll be able to see it in your pages, and you'll see where your transparencies are. Now this is page one, and the cover page in our case. The images come directly from Pixabay in the stock panel of Publisher. So you can use those pictures, you can use your own pictures. I would recommend you don't go to a great deal of trouble locating suitable images. Just pop in something from the stock panel there um, until you get the whole thing working. Then you can do your own great flip book. Now the last page, with the back cover done, you can now see that all 12 pages will be filled with their own content. Of course, you could have made your own 12 page spread, and you can, but the purpose of this exercise is to show you how to use the widely available IDML files out there, and then make them into a page flip movie using Motion and Final Cut Pro or even iMovie, or a movie maker of your choice. Now exporting to a suitable PDF. This is really straightforward. Select File, Export and select PDF for Print. 300 dpi and select All Pages. You don't want spreads, you want the area All Pages. So you end up with 12 individual pages. Now that's your finished document you can see there. When Set Preview is ticked on your export pane, a preview of the 12 page document will pop up and that way you know you've got everything just right. That's fairly straightforward. Now Apple Motion and the Flipbook. This is a, a very, very brief introduction. I wouldn't even use this as a guide to get started. But the Flipbook is actually an animated book that flips the pages as though they are being turned. It's great for promotions, sales, presentations, short storytelling, or advertising your book on Amazon, perhaps. You could even use it for short storytelling by using the pause button on the video. Turn a page, pause it, have a read. Great for kids' books, perhaps. And you can speed it up, slow it down, do what you like with it once you've got it working. Now let's have a look. I'll put the URL in the description as well. Now this is Jen Jager. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. My apologies if I'm not. That's Jen Jager Pro Tutorials. Excellent tutorials on Apple Motion. And that's the YouTube address. That too will be in the um, description. Now, opening Apple Motion. If you're familiar with it, this will be probably stop the video here. Open Apple Motion and set the options for the video that you need. Frame rate, broadcast, you can set it all up there, including the duration. Now I've got a minute there, but you really don't need a minute for this. It's very short. 
you could probably make that 10 if you like, 10 seconds. You'll be using a blank motion project in any case. You can import the PDF you just created or you can simply drag it and drop it into the library. You can see if you look carefully there there's the word project. You can just drag it across there. The Play Kids Photo Flip Album PDF, drag it in there and it's ready to go. Now find the most excellent tutorial video by Gene, that's Gene Jager, it should be Jen. Oh, there's, there's my wonderful Mac respelling everything that it thinks is wrong. That should be Jen. Follow her example. It really is, it's a brief tutorial and it's very good. No, it's not easy, unless you're used to Apple Motion, of course, but if you're coming to this for the first time, prepared, be prepared for a very steep learning curve. It's a doozy, but if you like a challenge in life, go for it. It's wonderful. I'll follow here with the fundamental steps as I do them. Well, the first few. I'm not going to do too many because it does take quite a little while. Open Apple Motion, select New, Import the PDF and select Group. Select the Play Kids Photo Album layer, right click on it and duplicate it. Select the duplicate, go to Properties and with the duplicate selected, move the page number slider to number 2. You might think that's very easy, and it is too. And that's what it looks like. Again, select Group in the list, go to Add Object, Camera, and switch to 3D. When you click on Add Object, click on Camera, and it'll come up and invite you to switch to 3D from the pop-up. So do that, switch to 3D. Now, go to Page 2. Flip Page 2 by selecting the X-axis in Properties and entering 180. You may have noticed that I've already done this previously. No matter, follow along. Now I'll stop the motion tutorial here because there's no point in carrying on because Jen Jager does an excellent job of it and you should follow her video. This is a video showing you how you can create your PDF books in Affinity Publisher and use them widely in areas that you may never have thought of before. And that's what this is all about. A completed motion tutorial project, this clip will play automatically, and there it goes. That's what this looks like when it's working, and you can see how useful that would be. I think that's marvellous. Now you can play with that, you can use that for all sorts of locations. And there it goes again. That's another one. It's a real challenge, and the Gen Jager Motion video is only about 12 minutes long. It doesn't take you long to watch it, but it's worth it in the end, because it will take you a little while longer than 12 minutes to create um, your own sample. But this is an example of what you might end up with, with your own PDF, and this is from the Motion tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it.